few events more joyful than the day a new baby is welcomed into the world. But in over 30 countries, a dreaded disease quickly turns that joy into tragedy. Tetanus is as ancient as history itself, even referred to in the Old Testament as the seventh day death. It cruelly and swiftly steals children from their parents and mothers from their families, all in the first week of an infant's life. It is caused when tetanus spores found in soil everywhere come into contact with open cuts during childbirth. Death is agonizing. Newborns suffer excruciating convulsions and extreme sensitivity to light and touch. The disease strikes the poorest of the poor, the geographically hard to reach, and those without access to health care. Maternal and neonatal tetanus, or MNT, kills nearly 60,000 newborns each year, and mothers may die as well. As a mother, I can't imagine having a child for three days, four days, and having it die. Even more tragic, these deaths do not have to happen. A life-saving and affordable vaccine that prevents MNT has existed for decades. It's unacceptable to see a disease which had disappeared from the developed industrialized world to still occur in developing countries when we have a solution. Lucinda Pedro was forced to flee a refugee camp outside Luanda, Angola, when civil war broke out around her village. It was there that she gave birth to her son, Alfonso Domingos. After her baby was delivered, his umbilical cord was infected and the deadly MNT symptoms began. And 1,000 miles away, another parent sat anxiously while doctors tried to save her son, Mamusha's life. The baby's mother, Itanesh Basse, never got her vaccination because she lived in a remote, difficult to reach region in Ethiopia. Education, outreach, and mass immunization drives are the key. Even in rural, highly remote areas, UNICEF organizes the transport of vaccines by any means necessary, even by horseback, in order to reach every woman of childbearing age. And the mothers do their part, walking miles to get the vaccines that will save their future babies' lives. UNICEF also trains traditional midwives in safe birthing practices and distributes safe birthing kits to prevent MNT from claiming more lives. Inroads against MNT have been made, but the disease still kills one baby every nine minutes. That's 160 families every day who will suffer the loss of never seeing their child grow, play, learn, and smile. But this disease has now met its match. Kiwanis International and UNICEF have formed a powerful partnership, the Eliminate Project, to end MNT. Kiwanis International's commitment, vision, and reach, combined with UNICEF's expertise and experience, are a sure combination to reach these neglected, unserved families and stop this devastating killer forever. If you have your first pregnancy and you have three vaccines, it'll get you through so that you won't get neonatal tetanus and your baby will not die. It's just something that's passed on, but it's so easy to prevent. We have the ultimate weapon against this killer disease, a safe and effective vaccine. One tetanus immunization costs just 60 cents. Now we need just one last push to wipe it from the face of the earth and save these babies and mothers who are senselessly dying. It's possible to eliminate a disease worldwide, and in the countries that are currently still facing this problem, there will be thousands and thousands of children who will be allowed to live. The UNICEF and Kiwanis has one major commonality, and that's serving the children of the world. The Kiwanis-UNICEF partnership is exactly the far-reaching strategic initiative that will save these babies and mothers and end this tragic waste of human life. I really, truly believe that this Eliminate project will save thousands of lives. The Eliminate Project will change the course of history. Over 100 million mothers and their babies are still at risk in over 30 countries around the world. But with the Eliminate Project, 
these lives can be saved. I'm really proud to be part of this project. I've seen the tangible results of what we're doing. I've seen the mothers walk out of the clinic. They're really happy that they're doing that for their children. So for me to be a part of this, it's a real opportunity, and I'm, I'm really excited to be here. No family should ever have to suffer the anguish of watching a child or mother die from tetanus. And when Kiwanis and UNICEF join forces to eliminate MNT from the face of the earth, one day soon, no family ever will.